The group I chose to analyze for this presentation was Eastern Connecticut State University's softball team. I attended ECSU for my undergraduate degree and was a team member from the fall of 2016 to the spring of 2020. The group has a non-traditional month-long fall season and a traditional season that starts late January and runs through May. The group met approximately six times a week during the season, and when in the offseason, the group is still expected to communicate virtually. Team size varied throughout the four years, but on average, the team members and coaching staff was in around a 25-member group. The program is run by head coach Diana Pepin, as well as her three influential assistant coaches. The home facilities were located in Willimantic, Connecticut. This is approximately 10 minutes from UConn. According to Cole, culture influences the way a group works together to become productive. Culture depicts the way in which a group interacts and develops a dynamic over time. Once a culture is established, it is very difficult to alter. At ECSU, there's a strong sense of culture shaped by team-developed core values. These values include altruism, determination, loyalty, self-discipline, and character. This team lives by the win philosophy, which means what's important now. On and off the field, it is important to live in the moment and to remain grounded. Understanding the warrior culture is meaningful to each member, appreciating the history of the program and those who have come before us. According to Cole, rituals are the spiritual component of the group. Rituals add meaning and reinforce the group's values and beliefs. The team crosses the wind board before every practice and game. This ritual is meaningful to the team because it reminds us to live in the present moment and to focus on what's important now. This is a ritual we take very seriously because no matter what kind of day we are having or various stressors life hands us, we cross that wind board to focus in on the moment. This is a ritual that has been passed down for many years throughout the program. Quotes are also read by each member prior to game time. This ritual develops a sense of unity and excitement for the upcoming games ahead. According to Cole, team building opportunities strive to help team members work better together. Problem solving and communication work hand in hand when trying to create synergy amongst the group. Team building activities were facilitated by the coaching staff and upperclassmen. The most meaningful team building moments were always on spring break trips. Communication and trust were built outside of the normal practice routine to make us a stronger group on the field. Putting our teammates' needs first before our own and getting to know each other proved its importance. Participating in intramurals during the fall season also helped build our team chemistry. According to Cole, norms are present within the group and are typically verbalized by the group leader, but also can be nonverbal. There are various norms within the team dynamic. Is it expected that you arrive to practice at least 30 minutes before warm-up time? It is expected that all members openly communicate with teammates and coaching staff about daily conflicts. Education always comes first. Class attendance is mandatory. If you do not attend class, you cannot practice. It is expected that players run on and off the field and give 110% at all times. According to Cole, group motivation is when all members of a group come together with enthusiasm and desire to participate. A motivated group will flow freely with one another and have a confident leader to inspire group confidence and trust with one another. As a Division III program, we are not getting a scholarship and are solely dedicating our time for the love of the game and to support one another. This team motivates each other to be the best versions of themselves, supporting each other academically, emotionally, and physically. Creating personal team and academic goals on and off the field is something that provides motivation for all group members. This group provides instant friendships and a feeling of belonging while being away at college. This group primarily was led by a facilitative leadership style. According to Cole, facilitative leadership has the group's best interest at heart. The facilitator will gather input from its members to guide decision making, allowing them to have a say, as well as guiding with insight and making members believe they are on the leader's side. Within the team, there is a leadership group that meets weekly. With members from each class, the aim is to develop team leadership strategies and learn different styles of handling conflict. Expressing concerns to coaches or ideas to improve our team are always welcomed. In addition, senior class meetings with coaches to discuss team decisions were common. According to Cole, cohesion increases a member's commitment and facilitates an environment for growth and success. Mutual respect and support are present amongst group members. This group really becomes cohesive when all members buy into the program and team mindset. Owning a role, having a growth mindset, and being the best teammate leads to group cohesion. Prior to the start of every season, we have a team meeting where roles are verbalized in a group setting. You can accept or reject your role. After you accept, the win board is signed. Having the maturity to accept your role is what makes our team successful. Over my four years of participating, you can truly see the difference in success when all members buy into a common goal and remain selfless. 
In the 2019 season, this was the case, ultimately leading us to the Division III National Tournament in Tyler, Texas, finishing third in the country. This was an experience of a lifetime and truly demonstrated a mature, cohesive team playing our sport at the highest level. This group was meaningful to all participants because it meant playing for something bigger than yourself. Building leadership and teamwork qualities is something that every member can take away from this group. A competitive drive, passion, and teaching us how sacrifice and dedication can positively influence a group will forever leave a lasting impact. Being a student athlete allowed us to challenge ourselves mentally and physically, in addition to providing us with unforgettable memories and meaningful friendships.